What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we finally made it here to whatever town or city we are in, and we are not going to be taking a tour of this place because, well, we got stuff to do. Like, I mean, we got stuff, stuff. And I'm talking about, you know, we got to go to Azur Bay or whatever the place is. And, uh, you know, check out a few things here and there because, uh, yeah, something is afoot. Something is calling us. I don't know. Something, uh, something is calling us over there. Now, there is one thing I kind of want to do before we go over there. There is this individual, if you talk to him. A wondering young trainer, are you? Let me guess. You fish to fish for all the Pokemon in the water, right? I'm sure you do. Shall I lend you a rod? I'm a fishing fanatic, and I've collected more ro uh, good rods than I could ever use. Sure, let's go right ahead and get that. Here you are, good rod. Good take it and spin it. And yes, there it is, guys. We got ourselves a good rod. This right here is going to enable us to capture, you know, better Pokemon. A lot more better Pokemon than, you know, the usual stuff that right here. So we're going to go back to Route 12, and uh, we have uh, assembled the, 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 uh, the old team back, you know, because, well, we kind of, you know... You kind of need to give a little bit more help to everybody else right here. So, fishing is all about catching and releasing. Is it? Is it really? Okay, alrighty. So, here we go. Taking on Fisherman Murray. And he's coming out with a magic carp. Okay, alrighty. So, let's go straight for our good old buddy Nova. And, Nova, it has been a while since I've seen you. And, yes, I did teach this Pokemon Surf. So, that is also something pretty good right there. And there it is. Parabolic charge for the win and just like that Nova grows to level 31 and it wants to learn Thunder Wave okay so Thunder Wave is going to be a pretty good addition so let's go ahead and take away uh, charge because well it will help us out in the long run right here so there it is Thunder Wave and uh, well the goat Jordan grows to level 34 and is learning bulk up this is a very good strategic move which I'm not going to be using because, well, you know, we're not really going to be strategic in this one, I think. I think I don't even know. Okay, so here comes Magikarp yet again. So let's go right ahead and do this all over. Let's go straight for a Parabolic Charge and see what this does. And, well, look at that. This Magikarp has no chance whatsoever against us. Yeah, buddy. Okay. And, well, here comes another Magikarp. Seeing what this Pokemon can do right here. So let's go. Wow, he's got six Magikarp. I get... Oh, God. Okay, so how are you guys doing? How did you guys spend your Christmas and New Year's? How did you guys spend uh, the rest of your month? I'm just asking for a friend because, well, you know, someone decided to come out with six friggin' Magikarps. Seriously, six god dang Magikarps. Why is that even possible? I don't know. You know, he could have gotten six Feebasses. It would have been the same thing. Okay, come on. Let this be the last one, please. And... No, we still got two more. Good gravy. Yeah, this is god dang annoying. So, there we go. Parabolic Charge. Another one for the win. And, uh, well, here we go again. One more Magic Carp. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead. And continue on with the Onslaught right here. And just like that. For the win. How's it feel to fail? Okay. Alrighty. Okay. And Fisherman Murray has been defeated. Yeah, we probably shouldn't have battled that guy in the first place. That was uh, that was, that was just a waste of time right there. So let's go ahead and use the small waves and move on to the next portion of this. Make sure to bring a lot of repels, guys, because you will be going up against some Pokemon right here. So let's go ahead and use like the 10, 10 repels that we got right here. Alrighty, let's move and uh, see what we can actually find. As you guys can see right here, there's this uh, boulder. And we found ourselves a water stone, which, uh, yeah, we can use for a Pokemon. Any Pokemon at, at all. And there we go. Let's move on to the next thing right here and see if we can actually find something. Now, here we are in Azure Bay. I kind of want to battle this guy, see what kind of Pokemon he has. I swam all the way here from the oceans of Hoenn, and I'm still not tired, too tired for a battle. Huh. Alrighty. Good for you. Too bad I'm going to have to destroy you. And here we go, taking on Kieran, and he is coming out with his Remoraid. Holy crud. Alright, Nova. 
Let's get it. Parabolic charge. For the win. And there we go. Oh, wow. Yes, we are We are definitely going to be getting some points right here. And, uh, well, let's see. Here we have Skrelp. Skrelp is a Pokemon right here, guys, that has caught my interest mainly because it is a poison and dragon type Pokemon. It's not the fastest, but there's a big booty right there. It does turn into a very powerful toxic Pokemon at some point. Huh. And there we go. For the win, Skrelp has been defeated. And, well, let's see. Here comes a Whalmer. So let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go back to Nova and give it a little bit more points right here. Alrighty. Nova, how's it going? And here comes the Whalmer. The big old Whalmer. Not a complete... Oh, wow. Why did I do that? Yeah. Believe it or not, this Pokemon can learn Surf. And... Okay, so a missed attack. Okay, missed attack. Doesn't really do much, so here we go. Parabolic charge for the win again. And there you go. Whalmer defeated. Alrighty. Okay, alrighty. And just like that, we are victorious. Oh my god. Yes. Okay, so let's see. So Skrelp, a Pokemon that I've been wanting to find and capture... Let's go ahead and see if we can find it right here into the coastal Kalos region. And it looks like... There it is. Okay, so it's number 30 right here. I believe it, it's this version you can actually find it. And, uh, oh wow, it is in the other side of the world. Huh. Azure Bay. Huh. That's odd. Where are we right now? We are in Azure Bay. Huh. It's kind of odd. Kind of swore we could have captured this Pokemon right here. Let's see. Let's go with the town map. And, well, we are in Azure Bay. The way we can find it is through Route 8. So, that right there, we're going to have to pay a visit to that place in just, uh, in probably the next episode or so. Could be wrong. All right, let's go ahead. Want to see some cool water illusions? I'm a pro when it comes to water. Huh. A water dancer. Okay, so here we go, taking on a swimmer, Romy, and, uh, well, she's coming out with that slowpoke right here. Alrighty. Nova. Well, it's the Nova show featuring Nova, and, uh, here comes the parabolic charge. And this looks like it's almost successful, but this Pokemon right here is gonna be like, nope, you are now disabled. This is, uh, ridiculous. So let's go straight for a mud slap. And that nearly takes this Pokemon away, but look at this. Survives. Here comes a confusion attack. Oh my god. Alrighty, so let's go straight for a surf attack right here. Hopefully this will win. And there you go. Slowpoke has been defeated. What now? And, well, that's more points for our Pokemon. And Romy doesn't like us right now. Alrighty, okay. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and move on. As you guys can see, you got plenty of things to do right here. We have to reach the very end of this whole place. Now, there is a trainer that will battle you through the sky, but first is first. If you come right here, guys, and talk to this gentleman, he's going to be like, Do you have the Mega Ring? Is that what this stone is reacting to? I see. Then you should take this with you. And there we go, guys. We got ourselves an Amphrosite, which will be able to evolve any kind of Amphroses. And if Karina and the Mega Evolution Guru have recognized your skill as a Pokemon trainer, I'm sure you can master the power of the bond of your Pokemon with that Mega Stone. Huh. <laughs> Man, I hate winter. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and continue these things. No matter how much uh, we fish, the ocean stays blue. So does the ground never change no matter how much we battle? Probably. Okay, so here we are taking on Fisherman Ewan. Ewan, he is going to be coming out with a Clodger, and I believe you could capture this Pokemon right here, this version. I could be wrong. I kind of want to capture a Clodger. Sounds like a very interesting Pokemon. So here we go, Parabolic Charge. And that nearly takes Clodger away, and this will heal us up. 
And, well, the flail attack hitting us pretty good right here. All right, let's go. One more parabolic charge. And just like that, Clauncher has been defeated. Oh, my God. I think that's the reason why I won't use a Clauncher, because, yes, I am allergic to... Uh, I am allergic to... Uh, what was it? Shellfish. And here comes Carvana. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go to the Goat Jordan. The Goat Michael Jordan. Let's see what it can do. All righty. So here comes Carvana. And let's go straight for a Seed Bomb. And, well, the Aqua Jet going to hit us. And not so effective. But here we go. Seed Bomb for the win. And just like that. Another victory for us right here. Nova grows to level 32. Star Fox is the first to go to level 40. And, uh, well, there we go. Another victory. Just another victory for us right there. All righty. Okay. So let's see. We do have a Pokemon for a Sky Battle, but I just don't think it's going to count it. Let's see. Care for a Sky Battle with this trainer? Sure. Well, well, isn't this a shame? You don't have any flying Pokemon. We Sky Trainers only battle with Pokemon that can fly in the sky. That's kind of weird. That really is. Like, how is it that... How is it that, uh, what was it, Halucha is a flying-type Pokemon, but yet it won't be accepted? That is... Oh, my God. Never mind. Okay. Let us move on. Okay. Let's see. Let's go right ahead and give Nacho the love. Let's give Nacho the, the love that it, it deserves right here. So, Nacho, you are the first to go. And... Let's see. We're going to be using another repel. Let's go right ahead and start battling anybody. You know, claim its rightful place in the Pokemon world. All right, let's go ahead and battle. And again, people are messaging me, which is ridiculous. Here we go. Taking on Isla. And, well, she's coming out with a Corsola right here. And there you go. All righty. Nacho, let's do it. Bounce attack. Here comes the bounce attack. Flying all the way up into the sky. And the bubble beam does not work. So here comes the bounce attack. Bam! Not so effective because, yes, this Pokemon is a rock-type Pokemon as well. But it's paralyzed! And, well, let's see. Let's go with a flying press because it also counts as a... As a, uh, what was it called? A fighting-type move. And a, you know, a flying type move. God dang it. Okay, so there we go. Getting ourselves to level 33. And Blade has grown to level 34, as well as Sharptooth. And Sharptooth wants to learn Crunch. This is, uh, well, this is, this is pretty good right there, because it will become a lot stronger. And bam, Crunch for the win. And here comes a Lantern. Okay, we're going to be switching it up right here. Let's go straight to the Goat Jordan. That's right. The goat. Alrighty. Bring it on. You won't defeat Jordan. No one can defeat Jordan. Here we go. Seed Bomb for the win. And there we go. Lantern has been defeated. Alrighty. Okay. Look at that. More points for all of our Pokemon. And Isla has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Let's go ahead and move on to the next thing and see what else we can actually find. I think there's like maybe a few trainers that you can uh, you can battle, but there will be some items right here too, and we're not going to be touching that just yet. So let's go ahead and see what this is all about. Nothing. Let's uh, go right here and well, go right here and read this sign. Advanced tips: You can cast a fashion line or a, fast, a fishing line from a Pokemon's back when using Surf to move across the water, which it is true. And uh, well, let's see. There are no Pokemon right here, no Pokemon trainers. Although I am getting a small call, so I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, so we're back, guys, and well, we're gonna be continuing on, on right here. And it looks like we are in a bay somewhere, and no, we're not doing that. But there is an item. Yes, let's go ahead and grab this item. And I do see a uh, a uh, flying trainer right there. They're just going to, you know, judge my poor Pokemon because it's not really a flying type Pokemon and all that crud. Oh, excuse me. What does it need? Does it need more feathers? Who knows? 
Let us find out right here on Dragon Ball Z. And uh, yeah. All right. So let's see. Where oh, where are we? Okay. So it, there's a there's a there's a bay right there. I think we've passed the Azure Bay or the the actual cave itself. Where the heck are you? Okay. Let's go right here. Grab that. No, that is nothing. And go right here. And what are we gonna find? Where are they, where the heck is that bay? The Green Bay, the Tampa Bay, it's right here somewhere. Oh, look at that. Okay, so we're here. And there might be an item here somewhere. Oh, yes, there it is. Grabbed ourselves a splash plate. And, well, let's see what, what we can actually find. Yeah, I wish we had a Pokemon with Rock Smash, but yeah, that, that would have been a, effective or something like that. Okay, so here we are in, uh, let's see, what, what, what is the name of this cave right here? The Sea Spirits Den. Den. So, as you guys can see, there's literally nothing in here. Absolutely nothing except droplet sounds. Now, eventually, you will be able to find yourself a Kalos Legendary Pokemon based on your starter. We will get to that uh, way, 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 and I mean way later on into our adventure. Now, if you guys want to take a look, if you guys want to see it before it comes out, go to my Pokemon X walkthrough and you'll see how, like, how exactly that works right there. And, uh, let's see, is there anything else? No, there's nothing else right here. Yeah, there's just rocks, grassy areas. You will be able to find some Pokemon right here. And here we found ourselves a big pearl, which many of you guys already know. You can sell for high or for, you know, for a good price. Because you guys already know. We need monies. Lots of monies. We're like back in our college days where, yeah, we really didn't have a lot of money. Ha! Huh. Okay, so let's see what we can find. Nothing right there except for that person who judged our Pokemon. Our poor Nacho as not a flying type Pokemon. Holy crud. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it right there. Already defeated you. We could capture some Pokemon right here. Here we are in Forge Road and, uh, well, let's see. Bam. I guess we could go right here to Kumarine City. And talk to some people. Now, if you talk to this person, he's going to be like, When I was a child, I saw a Pokemon trainer with a great Ampharos in Azure Bay. Oh, well, we should have talked to him first. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Let's see. What if we go here? And if you talk to this person, well, if it isn't traveling trainer, we uh, must be terrible walking all over the place like that. Yeah, it's not. It's, uh, it's a very good uh, way for exercise and all that stuff. Please don't take anything that my wife say, takes to heart. Your youth is simply too much for us older folks who've lost adventuring spirit. And, well, we're getting ourselves a silk scarf, which will power up any kind of normal type moves. Yeah, I've met older people like that who are just like, you know, they're very direct, but they don't mean... They don't mean to be mean. If you talk to this person, let's see. You will be able to find yourself some incense. Now, there are two incense right here where you can attach it to a specific Pokemon and breed them and get their pre-evolutionary forms. Meryl, if you put a sea incense and breed it, you'll get a Zuril. And then I believe the full incense right here, if you give it to a, what was his name, a Snorlax and breed it, you will get yourself a, a Munchlax, so just keep an eye out for that right there, guys. And, uh, well, I think that's pretty much it for this whole section. Now, there is a hotel that I've seen, and before we do anything, let's talk to this person. My Magikarp is so cute, it eats Pokepuffs with gusto. Watching it eat them made me go off in a diet again. Huh. Okay, a diet. And let's go right here. Look at that. She's just watching the sea and all that stuff. Total, uh, totally random TM quiz. If you give me a correct answer, whoa, I'll give you a TM. Do you want to try the quiz? Sure. Yay. Now, here's the question. What's the move that I'm describing? The move prevents the target from using its held item. Huh. Let's see. I believe it's embargo. Yes, it is. Okay. So, there it is. We are going to get ourselves a TM63, which is embargo. That, as she said, will prevent any kind of, uh, you know use of held item or anything like that. Now, let's go here to the hotel and see what the heck is up. You will always find something here. And uh, don't you just love visiting uh, something celebrity? I, I, like Ramos, I always go, go... Okay, never mind. He's just putting puns and all that stuff. And uh, oh, there's nothing right there. What if we go right here? And again, calling themselves Team Flare is out about causing a bit of ruckus. 
No good could possibly come from associating with such delinquents. That is true. And bring a Pokemon that you're really friendly with, and I'll give you something nice. Huh. I believe I do have that Pokemon. That Pokemon is named Star Fox. I don't think it's fainted so far, so let's see. I can tell that you're the very kind of trainer by looking at how happy your Delphox is with you. Since you're so friendly with your Pokemon, I'm going to give you a lucky egg. And there we go, guys. A lucky egg actually helps you with experience points. So that will be attached to a Pokemon that we probably need to, you know, raise up just a little bit better and all that crud. And let's see. Everyone in Kalos region is so very nice. That is true. Very, very nice. And there's nothing right here go right here there we're talking to this guy hello I am the de the game director ah you're working on your pokedex come show me when you fill it up ah you don't say okay so never mind fill it up do it nothing but to do it okay so I think we've covered everything right here if we go if we go towards the other section of Komori City it will lead us to the gym so we're gonna save that for the very for the very next episode, guys, because uh, we got material to take care of. And well, this lady right here is like a very movie star, rides the monorail. Visitors always a one-track mind about it. How's that for one a one-liner, huh? Okay, let's go ahead and uh, get the heck out of here. Go straight to the Pokemon Center. And uh, well, here we are, the monorail. You guys ever watch The Simpsons, the monorail episode? That was always fun. Okay, so here we are, back, and, uh, well, I think that's pretty much it right there. So, in the next episode, guys, we will be going to the Comering City Gym, getting our next badge, and then, uh, yeah, we're going to be taking care of business. How many badges do we have? Seriously. How many badges? Oh, we got three badges. Oh, okay. So, stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we're going to be going for our fourth badge. Thank you guys again for being uh, for being patient, for subscribing and all that. I'll be back for another episode. See you guys.